Hey everyone, today we're going to discuss about logarithms. Now, a logarithm is a power to which a number must be raised in order to get some other numbers. So basically, um, we use a logarithm if we want to know the exponent of a particular base in order to get another number. For example, if we have the logarithm of y to the base b is equal to x, this means that we are trying to get the exponent x. So we have a base. We'd like to know what should be the value of the exponent x so that the value of y is obtained from b raised to x. Now b here is called the base. x is called the exponent and y is called the argument. Now, the base must be a positive number, not equal to 1. The argument must be a positive number. So, whenever we're given with a log logarithmic equation, we can always translate it into an exponential equation. One example could be like this. Logarithm of 8 to the base 2. Take note of how I read this. Huh? Logarithm of 8 to the base 2 is equal to 3. When we rewrite this, we take the base first, that is 2, exponent is 3, and this is equal to 8. Conversely, if we're given with an exponential equation, let's say 3 raised to x is equal to 15, we can write this as a logarithmic equation. So, we have the logarithm of, we start first with the argument, this is the argument, logarithm of 15 to the base 3, and remember that logarithm should be equal to what supposedly is the exponent. So, logarithm of 15 to the base 3 is equal to x. So, basically, um, logarithmic equations and exponential equations are related to one another. Since the, the logarithm equation should be equal to the exponent. Um, of course, we cannot expect that all the time the value of the logarithm would be exact. Like in this case here, we have logarithm of 11 to the base 10. This would be equal to 1.0414. So this means that if I take 10 and raise it to 1.0414, it's actually continuous. It doesn't end with 1.0414. This is equal to 11. So we cannot expect the value of a logarithm would always be exact. Some values of the logarithms would contain decimals. And with that, we can um, identify parts of the exponent. Now, the integral part of the exponent is what we call the characteristic. Well, the decimal part is called the mantisa. So in this case, 1 is our characteristic and 0 0.0414 is the mantisa. Now, there are special kinds of logarithms that we deal with. Um, how special these logarithms are depends on the kind of base that we're working on. Now, there are two kinds of special logarithms. The first one is a common logarithm. The common logarithm is a logarithm with a base of 10. In this case, the base is not written anymore. For example, if we have log of 3 is equal to x, notice that the base is not written anymore. In this case, it's always automatically 10. So log of 3 is equal to x would translate as 10, that's your base, raised to x is equal to 3. So that's the common logarithm. When there's no base written here, it means that the base is equal to 10. Now, the second kind of logarithm is the natural logarithm. The natural logarithm is a logarithm with a base of e. In this case, the logarithm is written as ln. So the base here is the natural number e. So if we encounter ln of 5 is equal to x, this translates as your base is e. Raised to x is equal to 5. 
So that's how we go around with a logarithm. Remember that a logarithm is related to an exponential equation. So um, on our next video, we will discuss about the properties of a logarithm. So I hope you guys learned a lot today and thank you guys for watching.